Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and I am just spawning in onto the uh, new server that we have just made. I am super excited. So this is my new season, season two on the TGT cluster. Um, I we're doing a little bit, a bunch of different things. Oh my goodness, everything is loading at the same time. A little bit laggy, but okay. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, we've got two maps clustered right now. We're probably going to add a third at some point. Um, but we have Extinction and Olympus as our two maps right now. Pretty fun. We've got some dino mods in here. We've got probably an extra, I don't know, 20-ish, 20, 30 dinos added in that are not normal to ARC or new to ARC. Um, a whole bunch of quality of life mods and just some fun other stuff and things along those lines. Got some neat PvE, PvP rules. Uh, basically, you can be PvP, but you don't have to. And PvE is optional as well. You don't have to do that. But I'll also do like a little bit of a series going through this, you know, how I play, stuff like that, just to show you guys. Um, you'll notice that I'm literally just sitting here smashing up berries and stuff like that. That is rule number one, because uh, it's just how you should start every game. But... This is kind of going to be my playthrough series after I finish that little promotional thing. You should come play. It's not just uh, patrons only. This is everyone is welcome to come play. Patrons do get a little bit of added benefit. Uh, they get a couple of dinos to start them off, stuff like that. But it is free to play for everybody. We have an awesome community. We have some players that are just constantly having some fun, and that's the point of this game, right? Because you don't want to worry about you know, PvP should be fun, and that's what we encourage here. And that's just kind of how it is. So let's keep going. Um, I have added immersive taming this season, so I am really, 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 really curious to see how that works. Just because, you know, well, that's something that I've always wanted to try because I just feel like the, the brutality of knocking a tame out and force feeding things down its throat doesn't necessarily mean that that tame wants to be yours. <laughs> so now it's like you actually have to like earn the tame's trust and there's different ways to tame things. So I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to work out. All right, so leveling. We did scale back the leveling a little bit this time around, so we'll see how that goes. Um, ooh, I guess I can look at some of the, the stuff I can make. I haven't even looked at this yet. Stole stations. So these replaced cryopods are like a million times better. Uh, taming journal. That'll be useful to have. A whole bunch of quality of life mod stuff like transparencies, demo guns, all that kind of stuff. Turret cyclers so you can actually set your turrets without clicking every single one of them all right i'm just you know mashing until we can actually get ourselves some stuff here punch a tree because you know why wouldn't you punch a tree you should always punch a tree and i do have to find a stone at some point it looks like there's a few up here yeah, thank you so we do have a boosted thing right now to start everyone off because we have our leveling process a little bit slower right now um but that's just so everyone can get up and started. My goal is to kind of like pick up some XP and stuff as I run towards green up. So that's what I'm going to do as we go down this. And I'll keep picking up stuff and just doing in general things. Um, so I'm hoping to hit maybe level 10-ish so I can get some bows and stuff like that. Do some obelisk runs and check out the TC's vault because there's a pteranodon waiting for everybody to get started. Oh no! Oh no, there's another part of the mod system right there, the shiny dinos. Uh, in case you're curious about those, those are pretty sweet things. They basically have special powers and stuff like that, but as soon as you, like, you cryo them, uh, their abilities go away. And they can't be bred, so they're not like super overpowered. I did reintroduce gigas and manas this season, so I'm kind of curious to see how that goes. I don't know. We'll kind of figure it out, I guess. But, oh well. Another fun thing we're going to do is we have four admins right now, and we're all going to force split between the servers and uh, just see, and we're all going to kind of run our own tribes, be adopted by these tribes, and interact that way with PvP, PvE, stuff like that. Just, just fun stuff. All right, some more levels. I'm just going to, you know, mass collect everything I can. I think I can make a hatch at this point. It's something just like, you know, I'm going to pretend there's nothing making noise to my left. Because that's not creepy at all. I thought I heard something. Maybe I didn't. Oh well. And pay no attention to me, whatever you are. Alright, hatch it. Come on, give me some of these clothes. 
There's some. I know everyone always is like, well, why do you wear this early game stuff? Because 10 armor is 10 armor. And taking reduced damage to anything makes me happy. So, especially early game, that's nice to have access to. Right, a little bit of stone here. We'll keep moving towards Green Ob. I think Green Ob is behind me. Not entirely sure. So, we'll have to kind of see as we go here. Yes, Green Ob is this way. Okay. All right, gotta get through the jungle in the middle of the map. Um, gotta get through a lot of stuff in all honesty. So this is kind of our goal, because Green Ob is a great place to start up on Extinction. Um, let me rephrase that. Green Ob is a great place to start off if you are not on a really hardcore PvP map where they're just gonna clap you at Green Ob because everybody goes to Green Ob to start up. But on a server like this, it'll be great. Other than, you know, constant being tired because I'm a low level again. But I, I love the early game grind. And uh, it's not very easy to level up. We do have it leveled to 130 is max. You can get five points more with a chibi. And you don't have to do bosses. So that'll be nice once we actually get to that point. Um, so we'll kind of get there. Come on. Thank you. Just collecting everything I can. And a lot of people don't realize this, but when you harvest things, it doesn't matter what it is, if you're hitting it or not. You're gaining extra experience every time you take a swing, pick something up, all that kind of stuff. So it's always worth it to pick up extra stuff. All right. I have very limited stamina, which is very frustrating. I'm going to have to increase that because that is, that is awful. Okay. Level six. Gaining XP pretty quickly. Hello, Dodo. And somebody has already put up some spam. It looks like they have laid claim to whatever that is. I don't know what that is in all honesty. So, oh, here is the swamp. This is an area that I try and avoid because there's Titanoboa and death just in general waiting for you. I'm gonna grab it. Ooh, is that crystal? A really game crystal. Yes, please. Give me this crystal. Ooh, green gems too. Yes, please. And metal. But metal is all over green ob. In case you're curious and you've never seen me do it before, my green ob starts up. I guess startups are always entirely based on metal. Um, and that's just why I love it over there, because there's so much metal available. That's a pretty good amount of crystal to start up, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I increase my stamp just a touch. All right, there we go. Get some more crystal on this thing. And we'll get started. All right, so this is kind of like, for some people, this is their favorite part. For others, like, dude, just go fight people. Well, you know, I'd say my favorite part of this game is probably some fun PvP. Not like the overpowered PvP where you've got, like, 30 people on Gigas versus 30 people on Gigas. That's just like, what do you, what, what's the fun? You're just wasting weeks and weeks of work on official servers. And that's just like, man, that's that's rough. Oof, duh. All right, let's keep going. Ooh, there's an Akatina down here. Maybe I'll be able to find an explorer note down here. I don't remember where the explorer notes are in this region. Sometimes you get lucky. Yes, give me water. Uh, this map is loaded with explorer notes, but you kind of have to have a flyer in order to access all of them. So that's kind of where I'm trying to go to Green Ob. We set up a little help station for people, and that's kind of like where we'll end this episode. You can kind of see the TC's rewards vault and kind of show you what's going on over there. And watch out! There we go. All right, another real quick thing. If you lay down when you're out of stam, you don't lose as much water, which is nice. And I'm almost to the point where I'm gonna have to do that. Down here is actually not a bad spot to start up either. This area that I'm heading right now. Uh, the beaver dam's beneath me, but I like the beaver dams over at Green Ob because there's also a bunch of tames over there. So, actually, you know, Maybe I do go beneath me with that beaver beaver dam section. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know what I want to do. I know there's Argentavis over there, and there's... I don't think there's Argentavis down here. But there are... Yeah, flyers are needed, and so is that vault. But you know what? Hose it. I'm going for this. This is a good startup area. That pool down there is where I'm going to try and land. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Have I hosed myself over? I think I may have. Oh yeah, I've screwed myself. I have no way down there. Maybe I can make this? Please? Oh, goodness. 
That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted to do, game. Um, it used to be the case. Yeah, Tinto Berries still give you a little bit of health. If you eat a bunch of Tinto Berries, you'll gain a tiny, tiny, tiny section of health. So mass produce yourself some Tinto Berries and you'll gain health back. Mind you, it's not very quick, but it's better than nothing. And apparently my character is really wanting to be slow with this. Okay, I know I fell, but game. I feel like I deserve a little bit of leniency on this one because it wasn't on purpose. Well, it was, but I didn't want to take that damage. Ooh, this is kind of a fancy little spot, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Can I not get up there? Have I made an even bigger mistake? <gasps> uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. I'm going to have to, like, jump to that, I think. Come on. Stop being broken bone. It's not that far. You only dropped, like, 40 feet. Come on. Land on your feet. Wall man up. You got this. Is it less than 30? Yeah, it's 30. Okay, there it is. There's the marker. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I knew I could. I knew I could. Yeah. No doubts. No doubts. No doubts. Doubts, doubts, doubts. Okay. Is it gonna be makeable from here? This might be doable. This might be doable, people. Oh. I hope I got far enough forward. Oh, don't hit that rock. Hit the big section right here. Yes. Alright, so you can see there's beavers here. Beavers means cementing paste, which means awesome early game startup. It's a pretty safe area. Terror birds kind of spawn around here, but that's about the only thing that's super dangerous. Uh, there's lots of metal in this region, including dodos, which is nice. So that's kind of what we're looking for right now anyways. So ooh, lots of early game teams make me heavy. All right, let's check this out. Storage box, SS storage box. Some of these bad boys. I love SS mod, it's so nice. Um, let's go with this, doesn't require fuel. Let's make an extra one of these. Uh, I have that, garden. I want the journal because that'll help me learn what I actually need to do. Uh, mortar and pestles, good. I don't really need anything, I guess. Just want some basic stuff here. And we're leveling up slowly, but it works. Alright. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. I always find this walk hilarious. The slow walk. Alright. Come on now. Guess I'll go on this side. There we go. All right. Ooh, how do I tame? Ooh, that looks cool. That's one of the new tames, the aberrant con concavenator. That sounds cool. And then you got special baits and stuff, so they're not knockoutable. You have to feed them special things, which is kind of interesting. No idea how this is gonna work. I know I can place this down. Cool. That should be a good start off thing. Got this down here. I don't really have anything of value or weight right now, but I can harvest some resources, so that's what I'm going to do. Get some thatch and wood. Some stone. And you'll notice that my level goes up quite a bit when you're doing this, just because that's how it works. When you swing away, you get a bunch of XP. If you can get big clusters of stuff, too, you get a whole bunch. What the heck? That's a awesome tree. Didn't think it'd give me that much stuff for that long. Okay. And we're still going. All kinds of plants. Uh, I don't really have the ability to tame anything yet, but I want to try and make like a vault or something. Because I know that's level 8 I want to say is what you can get that at. The vault where I can like unlock a few tames and stuff like that. And we'll kind of go from there. Alright. Get some flint to... And these little circular uh, rocks house a little bit of metal a lot of times. It's where a lot of people get their early game metal. In case you're curious. So you can see me collecting some right now. And we're doing that just fine. So I might be solo. I hope I end up getting a tribe uh, over here. So we'll see. And uh, I guess I'll do what I can. Okay. There we go. I've got an awesome uh, base location over here that I'm going to take up. 
that a lot of people forget about, but on unofficial servers you actually get to play the fun parts of the map. And uh, map parts that are sometimes considered OP, but in my opinion just part of the map. So, oh well. Alright. Come on now. There we go. Let's get some more of these. And then see what we can make. I should be able to make... I guess you need to hide for a mortar and pestle. I can probably kill that dodo. That's, that seems evil though. Because I'm going to need that hide. And I can make a mortar and pestle. And we'll be off to the races. Alright dodo. Where you be? There you are. Alright, light them on fire first. This is why I use the torch early game. That's a huge amount of damage. Come on. Go. There we go. And I am sorry. Oh, that is a lovely amount of stuff. Okay, Akatina. Does he not burn? Oh, Akatinas don't burn. Good for them. That's awesome. You go inside their shell and they're suddenly invincible. Okay, again, you see, lit them on. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. But oh well. I'm sorry, Dodo. It's a funny screenshot. Watching me stare down the Dodo. There we go. Alright, gotta get that early game hide. I don't have the ability to knock you down and tame you, otherwise you'd have a lot of hide on you. So, we're going to pretend that never saw that then. Alright, hide. I can make this. Ooh, I can make the reward vault. Um, I can make a bed. Uh, I should have made an SS bed, but oh well. Is this slingshot plush? Deals uh, afar. Ooh, stone. Okay, but again, we're not knocking things out because this is a different style of stuff. Spark powder, that's what I need. Okay, let's put this bad boy down and let's get us some spark powder. Let's put a wall. Yes, a wall. And we'll be able to put the vault up and claim our starter pack stuff. And I'll show you kind of like some of the, what this vault is and like why mods are so amazing. Alright, so here's the vault, reward menu, and you can see that there's a whole bunch of different stuff that people can get. I've only earned 140 arc, which is fine. Um, and it looks like, so this is like the stuff you would get from like the Ascendant pack for the patron rewards, but like you can buy things, uh, get chibis, blueprints, like full riot gear. And this will keep expanding as we go. Keep that in mind. But that's just, you know, kind of how it is. I'll go ahead and purchase this bad boy because I like that, having that up and early. Um, and what did I want? Starter gifts. There they are. Starter tame. So we start everyone off with this kind of stuff, which gives you a little bit of a base. And boom. Nice. All right. So we have ourselves a starter teed on. Oh, I thought it was level 7. I was about to say, you got to be kidding me. That's really unfortunate. I really don't like that that's it. Okay, unfollow, buddy. But, hey, he's level 125, so I'm not going to complain. And it's free, so you can never complain about free. Add a little bit of stamina because I feel like I'm going to need it. All right, what else did I pick up? Is this, like, basically a base? Oh, it is basically a base. Nice. I should put it up a little higher, though. I think maybe up on like one of these ledges. Oh, you don't like having weight. How much weight do you have? Oh, I have way too much weight for you. I am so sorry that I would dare to think to encumber you with that much weight, my friend. I don't know how this is going to work, in all honesty. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to drop that much weight, but I'm going to try. Is this going to be too much for you, my friend? Oh, we can move, but not fast. Can I add some weight? I can add a little weight. All right. I need an area where I can kind of just set up a little star. Ooh, this is perfect. Lovely. This is what I am talking about. My friends. There we go. Yes. 
Nice safe little zone. I'm probably going to get raided, but oh well, who cares. I should be able to maybe transfer tool it. Let's see if I can make a transfer tool. Transfer tool. There it is. There we go. I can also get one of these guys. I love this tool, the pull tool. I don't know why Ark doesn't have it, but unofficial servers like this one do. They do. All right. Um, let's make another box. Storage box. Bola. These are worth it just for the ability to get more hide alone. So let's make like four of those. All right. Let's drop everything back in here. Get another box. There we go. Please don't be too much weight. It's not. Okay. Oh, slow speed. But you can do this, my friend. You can get up here. I know you can. I have faith in you. You're the most powerful tyrant on the world has ever seen. And you can... That's what I'm talking about. Alright, cool. Now if I plop down a box, I should be able to... Oh, no. Am I going to have to... It's too far away. Crap. I wonder if I can pull it from... Oh, all structures, and then just crank everything? Yes. And this is why this kind of stuff is amazing. The personal inventory. Yes, please. Got it. All right. So let's go ahead and transfer this bad boy, and we're going to have ourselves a starter base. And I won't put these up yet because, well, I literally have nothing, so if they want to raid me, go ahead. And that would kind of be it dirtbag move, so take that for what you will. Alright, smithy, got that down. Let's put down my bed. Yes. Preserving bin. Yes. Let's kind of put it on the wall a little bit here. Got this. Gotta get some more spark powder. Gotta get some metal. And then, we are kicking. a ton of spark powder. Okay, is there anything else? I guess I can have metal tools already, and that is awesome. Okay, so I got a crossbow as well, so I can make some arrows. Can I make arrows yet? Can't quite make arrows. I'm close, though. I feel like I'm close. And that'll help leveling. Alright, 44. Let's see if I can make this bait station. Ah, I can. So this is how we actually have to craft everything. So in the next episode, I guess I'll start working on some of this, like, actual taming. I'm pretty excited. This is going to be pretty cool. I have never used this before, so I am excited about it. All right, bait station. How does this even work? A preparation station used for creating food baits. Baits can be thrown from a player's hop bar, dragged down to an area attached to a fishing rod, or send it into the air with bait balloon. Ooh. Okay. Oh, so I need mutton, Ooh, mushrooms, raw meat, prime meat. Oh, that's cool. Botany bale. This is amazing. This is so cool. And this is how you tame them. And like you can put them on a stick and shoot the arrows at them if they're a little more aggressive. This is perfect. I love it. All right, let me put on some torches. Gotta, gotta claim the base spot, right? Light that fire. Keep it nice and warm right here. I'll get some metal up and running for tomorrow when I log back on because it is late where I am right now. All right, look at this sweet little base startup. And some metal tools. I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, transfer this over. I got some spark powder. We're gonna light this bad boy up. Get some metal. I'll put some more metal in there inevitably. I just, for now, don't necessarily need it. Alright, well anyways, we literally have ourselves a little startup. Hopefully you enjoy this. If you want to come play on the server, please do. we got a bunch of really awesome people. It's over on PC. And uh, check the link below to get this stuff. And other than that, teach. Episode 1, out.